As an important milestone in China's aviation industry, since the C919 successfully completed its first commercial flight in May last year, it has successfully delivered for passenger aircraft and safely transported more than 110,000 passengers. This number not only witnesses the steady performance of the C919 in the market, but also highlights the rise of China's aviation manufacturing industry. At the Singapore Airshow, which opened on February 20 this year, Comac brought two C919 and three ARJ21 aircraft to the exhibition, once again demonstrating the strength of China's aviation industry to the world. However, in the internationalization journey of C919, a huge challenge is quietly approaching. The Airworthiness Certificate, the passport for aircraft to enter the international market, has always been an insurmountable obstacle for the Chinese aviation industry. Although Comac actively applied, the United States has been reluctant to issue an airworthiness certificate, which undoubtedly casts a shadow on the C919's international expansion. In today's video, we will explain the reasons why the United States refuses to issue an airworthiness certificate. Can the C919 go global in the future? Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world, and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Do you know what an airworthiness certificate is? The Airworthiness Certificate is a comprehensive certification of aircraft performance and safety. It is more than just a piece of paper, it is a symbol of aircraft safety and reliability. An aircraft holding an Airworthiness Certificate means that it has passed rigorous technical and safety assessments, and is deemed to comply with international aviation safety standards. Only in this way can the aircraft fly freely in the international market and win the trust and favor of passengers. According to statistics, more than 50% of commercial flights in the world currently hold U.S. FAR airworthiness certification, and Europe's EASA certification also occupies a considerable market share. These two certification systems can be said to be the most popular and authoritative airworthiness certification standards in the world. Since China delivered for independently developed C919 large passenger aircraft in 2023, this milestone marks a huge leap for China's aviation industry. For the C919, obtaining the airworthiness certificate not only means that its technical strength and safety level have been internationally recognized, but also symbolizes that Chinese-made aircraft have officially entered the competitive ranks of international aviation giants. However, in recent years, China has been actively applying to the United States for an airworthiness certificate for the C919 passenger aircraft. However, the United States has questioned its safety performance on the grounds that the C919 passenger plane does not use Western parts, including engines. But in fact, China's C919 passenger aircraft has used a large number of Western parts and was developed in strict accordance with the airworthiness standards of the Federal Aviation Administration and the European Aviation Safety Administration. So, what is the real reason why the United States rejected the airworthiness certificate? The United States and Europe have long controlled the global aviation market. However, before large-scale global delivery of China's C919 passenger aircraft, the number of orders has exceeded 1,300. This number is not only shocking, but also shows the huge potential and market influence of C919. On the other hand, the unit price of the C919 is 90 million US dollars, while similar aircraft from Boeing and Airbus both cost more than 130 million US dollars. Although the difference is only a few tens of millions of dollars, this price difference can lead to significant economic advantages when purchasing large quantities. This has undoubtedly brought huge competitive pressure to traditional aviation giants in the United States and Europe. Therefore, the United States' refusal to issue an airworthiness certificate for the C919 is largely due to the interests of protecting its own aviation market. 
They are afraid that the Chinese-made C919 passenger plane will divide their market share and affect their profits and status. On the other hand, the issue of airworthiness certificate also involves the commercial interests and trade relations of the United States. Public data shows that the trade volume between China and the United States has continued to grow in the past few decades, and the aviation industry, as an important part of it, has brought substantial commercial benefits to both countries. But with the escalation of the trade war, this originally mutually beneficial and win-win situation began to change. However, the United States took advantage of its technological advantages in the aviation field and began to use airworthiness certificates as a bargaining chip in an attempt to seek more benefits in trade. According to foreign media reports, the possibility that the United States will ask China to make concessions on resolving the airworthiness certificate issue is as high as 70%. Interestingly, although the United States has exerted certain pressure on China on the airworthiness certificate issue, the C919 large passenger aircraft has won wide recognition in the international market. Data shows that the number of C919 orders has exceeded 1,200. This number is not only a new milestone in the history of China's aviation industry, but also the best interpretation of the strength of the C919. What is gratifying is that these orders come from companies in 40 countries and regions around the world covering multiple aviation markets such as Asia, Europe, and North America. This fully shows that the C919 is not only the pride of the Chinese aviation industry, but also has attracted the attention and recognition of the global aviation industry. What's more worth mentioning is that 29 countries have issued airworthiness certificates for the C919. These airworthiness certificates not only represent these countries' recognition of the technical standards and safety performance of the C919, but also mean that the C919 will be able to fly freely within the airspace of these countries and contribute to global air traffic. This achievement not only proves the excellent quality of C919, but also lays a solid foundation for the future development of C919. However, as more and more countries order C919 from China, a problem gradually surfaces. The United States has not yet issued an airworthiness certificate for the C919. This means that although the C919 has obtained airworthiness certification in 29 countries, it still cannot travel freely around the world. This situation has attracted the attention of the global aviation industry and many countries have called on the United States to lift the airworthiness certificate restrictions on the C919 as soon as possible. This call not only reflects the strong appeal of the C919 in the international market, but also reflects the high recognition and expectations of the global aviation industry for the C919. After all, the potential and value of an aircraft that can win recognition and support from so many countries are self-evident. Taking Europe as an example, as an important force in the global aviation industry, many European countries have issued airworthiness certificates for the C919. With the gradual deployment and delivery of C919 in the European market, the European aviation industry's expectations for C919 are getting higher and higher. They expect C919 to bring them more business opportunities and cooperation space. Similarly, in Asia and North America, C919 has also received widespread attention and recognition. Asian countries take a fancy to the C919's economy and adaptability, while North American countries appreciate the C919's technological innovation and safety performance. The aviation industry in these countries hopes that the United States can lift its airworthiness certificate restrictions on the C919 as soon as possible so that the C919 can truly achieve global circulation. In the future, with the gradual layout and delivery of C919 in the global aviation market, we have reason to believe that this aircraft, which represents the latest achievements of the Chinese aviation industry, will contribute more to the global aviation industry with its excellent performance and forward-looking technology. At the same time, 
the success of the C919 will further promote the development of China's aviation industry and help China occupy a more important position in the global aviation field. The airworthiness certificate issue in the United States will gradually be resolved under the appeal and pressure of the global aviation industry.